Alright guys, we're back with another EG video. This thing has been down for a while. I built it there, you guys seen all the videos on that. And then I dailyed it for work for like a month straight. Put like 1,000, 1,500 kilometers on it. Chooch second gear out being an idiot, just banging second. Second was bad once we first did it, so that's fucked, gone. And I never touched it. I put the FRS on the road, got a new truck, and I just this thing has just been sitting. And we're going to dive into it today, finally. I had a trans ready for it forever and just did not want to look at the thing. But track days, um, a week from today, not even. Five days from today is this track day. So I'm going to try to get second in this, get some fresh skins on the front of her, take her over, see what she'll put down in the eighth. That's the plan, so... Let's rip these bumper off. I got some zip ties holding them out. Let's get into this thing. What's up, guys? I've been hammering down on this pig here. I uh, got both axles out. She's pretty much ready to roll. Shift cables are off. Uh, slaves off. Any kind of plugs and necessary shit's off. Um, grounds are off. I just got to take the housing bolts off and this mount bolt, and it should be ready to drop out. I'm here by myself, so there's not much recording going on, but we're going to get this trans out as soon as possible, and then we're going to dig into it and see how bad it is. Let's get it. All right, trans, got that out. Just put a jack under there. Bunch of blocks of wooden shit. Big ass chunks of hardwood just so I didn't drop the trans. I was doing it by myself. Pretty simple though, just let all the bolts go. Get the jack under the engine. Jack it up a little and then just shake the trans till you split it. Split pretty easy because it was on there not that long ago. And then just lower the jack down, get some wood under the engine and then just rip her out. Pretty simple, but yeah. I have a big table in here now and I'm gonna Get both trans up on the table and start pulling them apart. All right, guys, we just got to drain this transmission. Got her up on the table here. Okay, she's hand tight now. Oh fuck! Oh, that's clear as a whistle. Should have saved it for sure. You guys see that? Look at that line. Literally golden. Uh, I was gonna save it too, but I was like, fuck it. The drain fell in there and I am not going for it. I'm just gonna take the one off this trance. That one was leaking anyway. I don't know if the washer was bad or if I just didn't have it tight enough. It's pretty tight actually, so I don't know. But yeah. Sucks I drained that fluid though. That stuff is gold. I mean, I did chew second though, so it'd probably be stupid to use it, but there is a big magnet in these that collects any kind of the dust, so. Metal shave ohms. But still draining a little bit. I don't want to make a mess. So we'll pull this trans on here and maybe start taking this one apart. How uh, this is draining. All right, guys. So I got the transmission apart. This is the one with the LSD. Ooh. Some material there. Anyway, uh, it's pretty simple. Pulling this apart. I didn't record it. I think I did on part like two or three of building this. I think I went through the whole thing taking the training apart. So I'm not going to talk about that. But yeah, we're going to inspect this now. Check out second. See how she looks down there? Like there's, let's check the magnet. I cleaned this magnet, right? Oh my God, there's pieces on that magnet. I gotta get this magnet out and show you guys. Give me one sec. Some clamps here. Look at this. Oh, focus. So I'm just that. starting to take apart this transmission because all the shrapnel, I never pulled the gear set up yet, but I got like the, Reverse and all that off so it's it's ready to be pulled But I just want to get this one out and then just do a direct swap over This was definitely not open before because look How shiny that is in there like usually that's scratched to death from trying to get the stupid lock off There's not a mark in there. So unless they had the right tool But I highly doubt this was ever opened up. So this is probably all factory. So that's a good sign. Maybe a bad sign Maybe a good sign. My fucking auto was terrible there. But yeah, let's start taking this trans apart. No, yeah, this one's apart. All right, guys, so the RSX gear set is in the CP3 case with the LSD. I needed to use the shaft off the, the EP3 because it got the 4.7 final, so I had to go to a press, press this gear stack off the 4.3 final drive shaft, swap it to this, and she's getting back together now. I'm going to put the case on, get reverse on, and I'll show you when this is buttoned up. All right, guys, she's all back together. So now it's got RSX gear set, which is actually shorter than the EP3, 
That has like a 3-2 first gear, an RSX, same as an 8th Gen SI. And it has a 1-8-8 second gear, which is the same as TSX. The EP3 second gear is like a 1-7 or something. So we're going a little bit shorter of a gear set, but not much. 5-speed LSD trans, built, ready to go, track day Friday. Get this bitch together and go see what you'll do in the 8th. Tyler's probably going over, Frazier's going over, Mitchell's going over. All the boys are fucking going over, so we got to slap this thing together and hopefully it works. But I have all the gears here. Oh, my gears are there. I already went through them all, so just going to let that dry. They're all in kind of hand tight. Just wrap with the gun right quick. So I'll tighten this up tomorrow, fire this in the car, and yeah. Fucking done. Thank God. Pressing those gear stacks apart and having all that all in pieces, I did not like doing that. But yeah. Cheers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Got Tyler here. We got the train slammed in. That's back together. Axle's in. This is what I'm using for my... Transfluid, 0 w Tony Synthetic, OE Plus. So, let's slap this together. <laughs> let's slap this together and fire it up. Jeez. Well, we got it running. Ryan might be very disappointed in this swap because he has no first gear. So I told him to take it for a drive up the road and maybe get the fluid throat and everything. And, uh, yeah, I think the zip tie's hanging. That first? But yeah, he got no first gear, so. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, brother. This isn't good. Charlie, come here. What a disaster this is. Oh, I'm working no dirt! Control! Spicy. Look at that, boys. Posse, right the road, second gear, kind of soggy, but you know, look at this one in his butt, no first gear, did all that swap, nothing. So guys, just one of those tough break situations where, got the trans in, put it in, and uh, first and seconds, no bueno. I don't know, I know the gears are bad going in, like I had to file them down just to get the synchro to like, the shifter, shift selector to like actually move on them, so. Kind of knew it was going to be bad, but I figured... It would get some drive time, but uh, nope, did the one second gear burn out, and yeah. I gotta pull this back out another day. Alright guys, Civic's back in the garage. Did the one, the one second, oh yeah, fucking big turn on her. Did the one second gear pull on her, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to figure something out with the transmission, because Nathan's here, he's probably just here for, I don't know, maybe he's here for a bit, I have no idea, but anyway. We're gonna look at this. I don't know, it could be the cable shifter box, I'm gonna take them all off. Like anything to do with the transmission, clutch, slave cylinder, I'm looking at everything because this car has always had transmission issues, so I want to make sure everything's before I put it back together for the third time. Fourth time, whatever. So yeah, let's start doing this again, like I did at the start of this video. Let go. So I just got the front bumper off. And Nathan's already walking away. Yeah. Heading home, he said. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the help, pal. <laughs> Fucking give her a dig! Alright, right, guys, Nathan's gone. Went and picked up a fresh ice cap from Tim Hortons. And, uh, yeah, bumper's off. Let's fucking do all this over again by myself. I just picked up this pup here. This is a 2006 CSX Trans. Code PDR, R, my bad, RPD6. And it's, from what I read online, it's hard to find anything on these trans. But I'm pretty sure it's an RSX transmission. Like, got the 4.3 final with, uh, like, a uh, shorter gear set than an EP3. Like, first and second and third are a little shorter. Or first and second's a little shorter than 
EP3 trans. So, but this got a 4-3 final drive, so I got to press all the gears off again. Fire them on. Say this shaft here, because this is uh, EP3. Take all these gears off, put all these gears on this, then use the opposite shaft from this trans, and then with my LSD, and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, we're going to pull this apart in this video, so like... This video is basically just transmission related. This whole fucking video is just me working on transmissions. That's about it. A couple burnouts in between and then transmissions. So I'm here by myself, but I'm going to start jacking this up to getting these wheels off and starting to pull this trans out for the second time. Axles are out. I just got the... Just took out all the housing bolts. Time to pull this mount off. I got a jack under there. I love the engine with the block wood. I'm going to zip them out, lower the jack. Theoretically, transmission, <laughs> fall right out. By myself, so recording is minimum. Maybe I'll set up the camera for this. See if I can get it in the right position. Get out of there, you filthy little arm. Holy Jesus. All right, guys. Sucker's free. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lanta. My fucking... Oh, my neck brace hooked the battery. <laughs> Alright, it's free. Theoretically, I lower that down. T bracket's free as well. I lower this down. Whole thing's gonna come down. And it's gonna fall off. I'm gonna keep this pop on me. We'll put this right here just in case the engine drops. Does anything cool, you might see it. Coming down. All right. Should be free. Training's ready to come out now. I just gotta give her a yank. Give her a little yeet. But I gotta put some wood on the floor. Just in case it falls. I don't want it to fucking fall on the concrete and split the case. So let's get this trains in. Should apply wood, a little securance. A little security. All right, this trains is coming out. Oh god. I grab them up here, right? Oh come on! Zero. There's not much to hold on to up here. Oh yeah! There we go. You ever put it through the fucking rain eater? Alright, round two of what we already did. Same thing. This is out of a CSX, but the same as RSX, so I gotta do the same thing where I swap the shaft over. Because I got a 4.3 shaft, I need the 4.7 shaft, so. Trannies just everywhere in here, but anyway. We're gonna drain this pup, hopefully not lose the drain plug in the oil again, and then we're gonna start tearing all the stupid shit off this, stupid shit off this, taking this apart, looking at the first and second, because it's chooch, making sure it is fucked. And hopefully, this here is beautiful on the inside. I paid $400 for this from a junkyard, 200K, CSX, 5 speed. So let's hope that's good. So I got a part, this is the one I bought from the scrapyard. And as you guys can see, second gears, I'll focus on it. It's pretty dinged up. It shifts fine on the selector, but I'm scared to put it in, but I mean, at this point I have no other choice, so. Time to pull apart my transmission, and then I gotta press all these gears off, because this is the 4.3. And then, put them on my shafts, put my transmission together, and hope for the best. Cheers. Got my trans apart. As you see, first gear is pretty bad. It's in second right now. Second gear is also terrible. So first and second is definitely shot in this trans 100%. But let's hope that second's half decent. Go do all that pressing, put this back together. Get it in this thing. I'm fucking done for all today. Right, mission is done. I'm out of so here. For everyone Another that day. was kind of confused when I was talking about what I was doing. This is the shaft out of the transmission I bought. I needed a shaft out of anything with a 4.7. Because that's for a 4.7 final drive. So like EP3, 8th Gen SI... TSX, and then a 4.3 would be like a Cord, RSX, CSX. So yeah, there's all the gears that came off a spare 4.7 shaft I had laying around. So yeah, let's, here's my new stack ready to roll. So now this stack 
is good for this stack. Like they met, they mate now because that's the gears out of the CSX. I'm gonna use those shift forks just because they were already on this and shifting. Mine look good, but I'm just gonna take everything from this, put it in this now. So now I gotta pull this apart. And then we'll slam this back together and I can drop it in this pig and get it right here. <laughs> Cheers. Alright guys, trains is done. The selector's in like neutral, so we got like fourth down. Oh geez. Fourth, third, and then um, we'd have second, first, and then we'd have fifth, and reverse. So all the gears are there, that's a good time. I just got the Honda Bond setting, so just make sure I put these two bottom ones in because I already put the shifter on one time to make sure that all the gears were there and everything and then forgot these and they're you can't get, you can only get one of them in so anyway let this set up let the Honda Bond dry and then torque them down that's just kind of sitting there and snugged in with my hand so yeah guys let's let this cure up get this done fired in this pup all right guys Civic is outside Trans is in, like I said, recording is minimum by myself. I'll show you is my issue though. All the gears work so far, but my shift linkage is fucked. I was talking to someone and they're gonna send me uh, a stock box and cables, but I'll show you is what I mean. Like, there's neutral, watch the first. Right, that's the first and second. And like I have the gears, I've driven the car. Now watch to reverse. And then it kind of stays there, and you gotta push it back to neutral. Look at this. That's reverse. Look how far that is. And then here's neutral, here's first. So I don't know if the box is fucked up, or my cables are fucked up, or something's binding up, but uh, trans is in. It has all the gears. I would usually go out and beat the bag off it. But uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like blowing up this trans after just <laughs> doing all that and blowing up the other trans. Unit. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here, next video, hopefully I'll get the stock box in that, or a new box, or whatever the fuck, get it shifting good, and go rip the bag off it. Cheers, keep it tuned, subscribe, comment, like, let's get it. That was a fucking outro!